Sparky Linux is a Debian distribution. They brand themselves as a lightweight, fast, and simple Linux distribution for both old and new. They used to be all, always for old computers, but now they are getting uh, into the new computers with the new kernels and with new desktop environment you can use. Before, they only used LXDE, LXQT, and OpenBox, but they remain by their use of the OpenBox, the flagship, as a fast and lightweight system. Now we will run Sparky Linux on a virtual machine and we will try it out. I want to add a minimal GUI, which is their flagship of uh, ISO they use and we are in this screen okay so English So let us install. Okay, so American English next. Okay, American New York next. Okay, we have only this one. Erase disk no swap you can encrypt the system and the bootloader is also in the same partition next the name i put sparky password password log in automatically i don't like this okay next so it gives us the information okay install we let it install and we come back when it's finished okay so it's finished restart now And done. Okay. Okay. So the kernel is five point fifteen, which is relatively a new new kernel, which is good news. Okay, so Sparky and the password. Log in. Okay, let me fix the resolution. Okay, so now we are back with the Sparky uh, desktop. If I want to change the wallpaper, they have nitrogen installed. So let's go for nitrogen. Pick a new one. Let's take this one. Apply. It's no, not a good resolution. Okay, so now this is better. So they have a good uh, amount of uh, wallpapers you can choose from. Looking at the menu here, the problem here is that when you open it, it's not like a menu, it is like a big screen where you can, with all this information, 
we'll talk about the app to center so the app to center is their uh, place where you can install applications let me cancel this one okay so this is their uh, instead of using the terminal to install you can use these uh, this graphical interface what I like about this one is this app center everything you can do you can do through the terminal I'm always used to do it and that's the proper way to do it but they have the things that they have in their repos repository so you can utilize the graphical one in order to install and if you notice here they have all a bunch of all the window managers and the desktop environment which you can install out of the box directly you press it and you install it and you can see here you have the Trinity which is difficult to install in many many distributions and also the enlightenment the enlightenment also uh, is difficult to install with all this it gives you directly this access so you can install it directly from here that's what I want to talk about here on uh, this uh, app center you can use it if you want but I do prefer to use the terminal unless you want to install some desktops or some applications which are uh, in the sparky repository okay looking now the right click is different in an open box because uh, in open box you don't have this type to search so it's basically not a true menu open box because uh, open box has a folder where it, it places its menu this one I think it is called G J menu they think it is an improvement well it is an improvement so uh, instead of using a menu an open box menu you can ho also have here a search so if you want let's say to write Firefox so directly you can uh, you can write it a good improvement they have included here a VPN you can use oh, it's already here so you, are, you can have the location that you want that's a new uh, new thing that they, they included if you notice here they don't they don't include the library office let me check the terminal you name dash a so it has a 5.15 Linux kernel which is a, on, it's a relatively new one if I want to check the memory it is 350 mega, megabyte I think maybe the RISE VPN is giving more uh, resources because it, for an open box it should be around 250 or 200 megabytes let us go for the configuration opconf open box configuration management they have uh, I really like the sparky 5 theme it's a, a dark theme it's better than this light one or you can install another theme I use this theme in most of my uh, distributions so I use this one so if I let's say I open Firefox Firefox okay customize toolbar manage teams enable dark okay 
Okay, so this is Firefox. Let us check which version they are right now. Also here, they are using, uh, they are not using the extended uh, software release ESR. They are using the, the latest one, which is good, good to know. They have this 95, version 95, which is the newest one. For system backup, they have time shift. You can use time shift. They have included time shift. So you can select the snapshot type that you want, either ButterFS or rsync. To check for the open box, we can go over and check it also. Here in the open box, it should be included in the open box. As you notice here, this is the auto start and the rc.xml, which is, which gives all the key bindings and uh, the feel of the window manager. But the menu.xml is not included. If you want, you can remove the, uh, this menu if you don't like it. I like it by the way. So because you can search directly in the menu, if you want to find a file or a command, you can type it here. If you want to go back to the original open box, you have to check for uh, the auto start and include here a menu.xml so that it will, uh, it will uh, bypass the default one that they have uh, installed here. In general, it's a very good uh, Linux distribution, very lightweight. I did not have any problems with it. It's, it runs fast. As you can see, the internet browsing, the Firefox is the latest one. What I didn't like is this applications. It's still outdated. Uh, they could have done better. Maybe they, they can add another menu here or the same G, GJ menu, the same one that we are using here. They can add it here in the tint 2 settings because this is tint 2 in the setting of tint 2 they can add it it is better than this one if they want to highlight these two there's no problem they can highlight it but i like the vpn also other than that they are, all of them are typical the only one that is stands out is this app center with the desktop environment that you can install this VPN, if you are into running things through a VPN, and that's it.